To submit an employee expense sheet, log in to Employee Web Services, then hover your mouse over Expense in the header menu and select Detail in the submenu. If you do not see Expense in the header menu, please check with your HR group to confirm whether the capability is available. To create a new expense sheet, click on the New button and then select the appropriate pay period if necessary. Then enter the expense book purpose in the Purpose field. Then click on the Group Description button to enter a detailed description of the expense book. Click OK, then finally select the applicable option in the Submit To box. Within the Detail section, input the expense date and input or select the appropriate options from the drop down boxes. Upon completion, click the Save button. Finally, when you're ready to submit your expenses, click the Submit button. Supervisors will now have the pending expense sheets available for approval when they log into the system. Please note that if you need to delete a record, the X to the left of the Date field can be used. Always click on Save when making an adjustment to the expense records. Let's review the remaining tool buttons for future reference. Clicking on the Print button will display a preview of how your expense will look when printed. When you're ready to print, click the Print link in the upper right-hand corner of the box. Also note that an expense sheet summary is displayed at the bottom of the screen. You can view the summary by expense category, type, or account by selecting the option from the Subtotal By drop-down menu. To view existing books and their status, click on the Summary tab and be sure to update the date range as needed. Then, click on Status to view the corresponding expense books or click on the expense book listed to view the detail.